Well, the Seattle Mariners icon Ichiro may have retired, and because he's in his 60s, I think. Uh, <laughs> old habits, though, die hard. Look at this guy. The future Hall of Famer found a place in, in the field helping the team at spring training. And Cairo 7 Sports Director Chris Francis is live in Peoria, Arizona, on the final day of his tour of duty. What a man of oh, service you are, yes. Chris. I'm trying, Monique. Uh, Ichiro, man. He is everywhere. He's pitching BP. He, it's just amazing to see him out in the field. Uh, and speaking of some of these players, a lot of them, we've been telling you, are learning to become major leaguers. And that means avoiding distractions. Traditional media, like us, and social media, those are big parts of it. So we asked them how they handle that. And it was timely because today, before their workouts, they had a media training session in the clubhouse. We're trying to educate guys. here. You don't have to answer every question. Uh, but you've got to be respectful and you've got to be accountable. Um, if the game doesn't go your way or whatever, we want to make sure our guys understand it is part of the job. Older guys like Dan Vogelbach already have the right mindset. Doesn't matter what anybody says, doesn't matter what people write about you, um, it doesn't matter where you're ranked because none of those people make the lineup. Vogel dealt with it by deleting his Twitter account. A few others have followed. It's definitely something that can, can distract you if you let it. Um, you know, so for me, before I even you know, kind of got in a situation for that to happen, I deleted my Twitter. Um, I don't have Instagram now, so um, not as much you know, gossip on there, so it's not, not as bad. So just kind of try to get ahead of the curve and, and delete everything. No social media for a 23-year-old? It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. My wife will tell me something. I ask me if I saw something. No, I, I haven't, so right. get all my information from her. you got to talk about it. you got to try to teach him how to deal with things, what's acceptable, what's not. Um, the one thing I, I, I am aware of that players are more in tune to the media now than they've ever been. So how does Scott's service relate? I asked. Do you have a Twitter account? Do you? Do you yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You'll never find it. You'll never find it. You'll never find it, Shannon. No chance this time, Shannon. She busted me. She busted me. The media found service's burner account a couple of seasons ago. He has a new one now under an as yet unknown handle. I don't tweet. I just follow. He's a lurker. lurker. <laughs> oh, I would love to tweet, believe me. It's probably not going to end well. Yes, Twitter is evil. Uh, tomorrow, game day here for the Mariners, their first of 33 spring games. Uh, the first five you're seeing on your screen here. The Padres share this facility here in Peoria with the Mariners, so no travel for either team involved. In fact, the first three games are right here at 1 p.m. in Peoria. But believe it or not, tomorrow's game may get rained out. There is a big storm forecast for Phoenix and the surrounding area tomorrow. We're getting out of town just in time. But we will be back at 6 o'clock with another story for you in terms of teaching these kids how to be big leaguers. Live in Peoria, Chris Francis, Cairo 7 News.